Hello everyone, welcome to SOFA Solar Academic Training Class. This is Nai Zhang, the technical engineer from SOFA Solar. I will stay with you next one hour and share SOFA products with you. And the topic today, the storage system and the related products from SOFA Solar. Okay, let's talk about SOFA Solar first. SOFA Solar have been in manufacturing solar inverter since 2000. And uh, 13, SOFA Solar is committed to produce best products and service to customers around the globe. Declared to provide a simple, free energy to everyone, we took pride that SOFA Solar is gaining recognition as industry leader in the global solar inverter market. At SOFA Solar, it is our vision to make the world energy independent through the technology and innovation. We believe in the potential of SOFA solar and renewable energy and our goal is to be the leader in the transmission of sustainable energy future. Our manufacturing sales center and headquarters are located in China, but we have uh, service center, also the office in all around the world, Australia, India, Europe, and uh, all, and other office all around the world. Not uh, limited in China only. It's a global company. And our primary single phase. We have single phase inverter from 1.1 kW to 7.5 kW and a hybrid single phase from 3 kW to 6 kW. Compatible with the single phase hybrid inverter, we have low voltage battery, 2.5 kWh GTX 2500, 5 kWh GTX 5000. And we also have one phase rooted ME3000 SP. For 3 phase on grid inverter, we have 3.3 to 255 kW and the 3 phase hybrid inverter is from 5 to 20 kW. Compatible with 3 phase hybrid inverter, we have high voltage battery GTX3000 and uh, you can see it's HX. X is uh, example from 4 to 10. AC, AC rooftop ME3000 and the hybrid inverter. This is a single phase ES model. And the second one is EP model. EP is the second version of single phase hybrid inverter. And we also have 5 to 20 kilowatt hybrid three phase inverter. This is a low voltage battery compatible with a single phase hybrid inverter and uh, we also have high voltage battery compatible with the uh, three phase hybrid inverter. Let's talk about something about our products and the technology. First, uh, it's AC couple inverter MU3000. It's uh, compatible with different uh, brand of the inverter and uh, we have many different working modes and uh, it's uh, for almost all PV system because it uh, take power from AC parts only. And uh, we have smart battery management system compatible with our system. You can see this is the work logic for the ME3000. For ME3000 SP is mainly using for customers who already have a grid type inverter on their roofs. So they want to change their system to storage, but we cannot throw the old inverter away. So we put another ME3000 together and uh, the battery working together to a storage system. It's very easy to add the ME3000 and the battery. For a hybrid inverter, 
it can uh, it can work both PV battery and AC. So high efficiency, wide voltage range, and uh, also seen as uh, MG3000, we have many different working mode. I will explain later, and uh, we also have EPS mode. Yes, it also can work with smart battery, uh, smart. Oh, sorry, smart battery energy management also. This is the working logic. For hybrid inverter, mostly using for the customer who have a clean roof. They do not have a old on-grid type inverter, just want to have a storage system. Put the solar panel on the roof, install the hybrid inverter battery, set up the Wi-Fi monitoring, then we can enjoy our storage system. Let's talk about the working mode of our storage system. As I explained in the last few pages, we have many different working mode. First is the self-use mode. Self-use mode have to consider power from PV side, battery side, also power on AC side then we can identify charge or discharge battery. If PV generation equal to the load consumption, inverter won't charge or discharge battery. If PV generation bigger than load consumption, the supercharged power will storage to the battery. It means if uh, power from solar side is bigger than load, the power will go to battery first. And if the battery is full, or the power is bigger than the maximum charge, uh, charging power to battery, it will export to grid. If PV generation uh, less than load consumption, it will discharge battery to supply the load. For example, if PV may be just only one kilowatt, but the load is two kilowatts. The battery have enough power, so we will discharge battery working together with PV to support the load. If PV generation plus the battery is smaller than the load consumption, inverter will import power from the grid. For example, uh, we have a five kilowatt load. PV just only have one kilowatt, and the battery through some limited, only can discharge three kilowatt. So we still need one kilowatt from grid. So one kilowatt from PV, three kilowatt from battery, and one kilowatt from grid. So totally five kilowatt to the load. So we can see power supply priority is PV bigger than battery bigger than the grid. For load, we have load first, secondary is battery, and the last option is the grid. Tab using mode. Uh, as we know, for some country, we have different price for different time period for the electricity. And uh, for some house, we have a very ho a heavy load during the daytime. So battery cannot get enough power to charge. What do we do? We can set the working mode to time of using mode. First, we have to enable this rule and selection the time and the target SOC and the charging power to charge the battery. Through this picture, we can see we selection the charging time is 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. The SOC deadline is 70 percent, and the charging power is 1,000 kilowatt. And the effective date is December 22 to March 21. And uh, the weekday is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, all the week. Timing mode. 
uh, timing mode mostly using for us to test the battery charging and discharging uh, function. So this sample, charging start at zero and the charging end at 6 a.m. The charging power is 1,000 volt. Discharging start at 7 and the discharge end at 12 and discharging power is 1,000 volt also. To be honest, this is the working mode for us. Mainly just want to uh, testing the charging and discharging function. Some customer may complain, oh, why my battery not charge or discharge? First, we have to change the working mode to timing mode to see the charge and discharging function is good or not. And then we will help you to sort out your issues. Passive mode. Passive mode just using PC app send a command to inverter to program a special mode. For example, uh, I, we will offer you the RS485 communication portal. Through the portal, you can get the commander how to control our inverters. So you can send a commander to inverter. Okay, inverter charging the battery or inverter discharging the battery. So you're just using your controller to control the whole storage system. EPS mode. Uh, EPS mode, we just call it uh, emergency power supply, just uh, consider as an off-grid mode. If PV generation bigger than load consumption, inverter will charge battery. And if PV generation equal to the load, inverter won't charge or discharge, battery will under standby. And if PV generation smaller than the load, the inverter will discharge battery. If the PV generation is normal but the load consumption is zero, the power will store it to the battery first. And if you have some more power, battery cannot be charged. Inverter will do power delete. Uh, one more issue, MU3000 work separate with on-grid inverter. So MU3000 cannot use solar power under EPS mode. So for MU3000 SP, under the EPS mode, it is using battery power only. A typical energy storage system. The typical energy storage system, when you first design the system, you have already included PV battery and the calculated load capacity that need to be subtended by hybrid inverter. This is the whole system design. We have PV here, battery here, and we have smart meter, test the current and the voltage on the grid side. But sometimes we have some other issues and some other reasons. We cannot use the typical energy storage system. No worry about it. We have some other solution for you. For ME3000, right? First, just uh, uh, from the existing on-grid system, change to the hybrid. Here, parallel MU3000, add one battery, very easy. And for MU3000, it can uh, work in together with different brand of inverter, even different uh, power supply for wind, not only PV, maybe we can take power from wind power. If the hybrid uh, without the PV panels, it are working like an AC coupling inverter. If we have no space to install the PV panels, or you don't want to install the PV, or you want to install the PV uh, maybe next time, you, 
you can just uh, put the inverter on the wall because uh, this can work as an AC coupling. Just uh, save the power to battery and uh, when you need the power from battery, you can take it out. Just consider like a battery charge and discharge controller. Yes, it can do it. Second, system without battery. Uh, not ME3000. As I say, ME3000 work based on the battery. If we do not have battery, ME3000 SP cannot work. In. But for other hybrid inverter, yes. We, our inverter can work as a grid tie inverters. And if you want to change to the storage, just add the battery. This is system configuration. Battery function always there. Once you need it, add it. For the backup mode, when grid is done, you don't want to use it. Uh, you cannot use grid in peak hour. This is the system configuration. If the PV is available, power will come from PV or battery will sustain the critical load. System with multiple inverter. And for multiple inverter, only for 3 to 6K EP and 5 to 20K three phase have this function. For ME3000 SP, HYD3 to 6 kilowatt ES don't not have, function, have this function. The system capacity is higher than single inverter capacity. PV panel is needed and enough space to install it. Battery is needed for emergency or peak hour. A parallel connection system for both AC output and the load output is the choice. Maximum support to six unit, six unit for AP and for three phase hybrid, it can maximum maybe is 10 units. So the system capacity is 6 to 36 kilowatt for single phase and 5 to 200 kilowatt for the three phase. Uh, for AC uh, refuel system, this is just uh, for grid type, solar system have already exist. It already exist. So we want to add more panels. Also, we want to have storage system. So you can just put a hybrid inverter here. Uh, we have two meter here, meter one and meter two. Meter one just testing the voltage and the current on the grid side. And the meter two test the voltage and the current for the on-grid type inverter. So that we can know how many power from on-grid inverter, how many power from our own PV. So we can uh, make a decision, charge or discharge battery. Uh, making sure using the power independent and the battery also can use it for the emergency. And also for hybrid inverter also have the same function with ME3000. So for the grid type inverter already exists. Because for ME3000 SP now it's only three kilowatt charge and discharging power only so that some customer just consider it is too small no worry you can using three to six kilowatt ep or three phase you can using five to twenty kilowatt three phase hybrid inverter it can work at the same function as the ac coupling inverter And uh, for our 5 to 20 three-phase hybrid inverter, it can support on-grid, unbalanced airport. For example, you have some limited from your power company. Your power cannot export to your grid. So 
we can uh, in, we can function the unbalance uh, output function of our inverter. For example, we have uh, maybe this is a 20 kilo inverter and we have a 50 kilowatt from solar but the load we have 5 kilowatt on phase 1, 3 kilowatt on phase 2, 1 kilowatt to, to phase C. As a traditional, maybe we only have 3 kilowatt from our inverter because it was decided by the minimum load from the surface. But now we can do the unbalance. We can offer totally 9 kilowatt. 5 kilowatt here, 3 kilowatt here, and uh, 1 kilowatt on the face C. Okay, uh, because we have some question online, so let's uh, answer some question first. First, uh, just uh, for the power limited I just talking about, yes, we need meters. I offer the single phase like EP model or ES model we can use in CT. Online monitoring building, we offer the free Wi-Fi dongle and uh, if you need, you can talk with our sales manager. We can also offer the insulet, also the 4G dongles. If you want to build up your own monitoring system, we can offer you the communication portal from so far, and you can write your own program. For lead acid battery, yes, but for lead acid battery, you have to input more value about your lead acid battery because different brands have different uh, parameter setting about their batteries. How can I install HYD inverter in Colombia with 120 volts? Uh, we have different uh, country code uh, set up for our inverter. Yes, it can work in for 120 kilowatt. Just work as, a, uh, as normal 230 volts. Set up the live neutral, also the PE. Change the country code to low voltage and then you can work with the voltage, uh, grid voltage, 120 volt. Okay, that's all the questions we have at this moment. So if you have more questions, uh, you can send to me. I will answer you as soon as possible. Let's continue. For the backup uh, unbalanced output, just uh, one grid is lost. And uh, during the off-grid EPS mode, we can also support the unbalanced load. When we first start our inverter, we have to make some selection. First selection is the language. The default we set is English. But uh, we already have uh, more option for you. If you want to change using the second up button and third down button, choosing your own language. If you need more language, and we do not have it in our system, you can give us an email. We will try our best to help you. Second, set the inverter time. Choosing the right time because you have, maybe you have using the time of using mode or timing mode working for our storage system. So if you input the wrong system time, maybe you have trouble. Safety parameter for different models are different. For our EP and the surface hybrid, uh, you have to use the USB or to make selection, or you can use in the Bluetooth app. We will offer you in future to make selection. 
for ES or M3000, you can just use the button to select your country code. Input the channel. Uh, just uh, because we offer couple MPPT or couple battery input for you, so you have make selection. If you, uh, for example, if you just only have one battery, so and you have two battery terminal, just using battery one, and just uh, enable the battery one and set the battery two to don't uh, not in use. Battery parameters. Uh, for leasing battery, making sure it's already make the compatible test with so far. And uh, you can make selection. If you need uh, using the lead acid battery, you have to input the parameters, follow the menu, set it up, and then the setup is completed. Let's talk about uh, SOFA battery. This is our low voltage battery GTX 2500 and the GTX 5000. Uh, we have real time display through the app or web portal. And uh, we have reliable at high energy density cells. GTX 5000 can parallel maximum to 4 and uh, the power reach maybe 20 kilowatt hour. For GTX 2500 is the same. The maximum uh, parallel quantity reached 8. Uh, the maximum storage power also 20 kilowatt hour. And uh, we, op we offer the 10 years warranty. 6000 circle and 80% of DOD with the EOL of 60%. This is the IP20 rated, so it has to be installed inside of your house. And the remote digital and real-time data monitoring. Floor or wall mounted. Uh, it is very easy to make installation or and uh, also the parallel con connection. This is for our high voltage battery GTX 3000. Also, we have real time display through the app or web portal and the reliable high energy density cells. According to the request, GTX, you can select from H4 to H10. Uh, it's between 10 to 25 kilowatt hour available for user. And the GTX uh, 3000. For one battery terminal, you can have maximum four in parallel. So the maximum for battery terminal is 100 kilowatt hour. Also, we have 10 years warranty, the same with the low voltage battery. Uh, this is IP65 rated, so you can both install indoor or outdoor, but making sure don't not installed directly under the sunshine. We also have remote and real-time data monitoring and uh, it's very easy for the installation and the, and the parallel connections. So this is the uh, system design, you know, one hybrid single phase and a one battery a GTX 5000. You can install like this. Power cable communication with our inverter directly and uh, make P connected with the ground and uh, then is communication and uh, working together. If you have a couple more batteries, you have to use the cable between different batteries, like a parallel cable, like a power parallel. Also, we need another communication cable between battery and the battery. Highlights. For our inverter, we have five years from warranty. 
and uh, we have local technical support. Compact, lightweight, easy to install, and uh, commission. And uh, we can also have remote inverter control through the sofa version problem, and uh, we will have uh, our Bluetooth app coming soon. And uh, if you want to purchase the extended warranty, you can upgrade the warranty for up to 20 years. Uh, for the single phase hybrid inverter, we have finalized design and uh, working super quiet, super quiet uh, operation. And uh, we offer free Wi Fi. And if you want to upgrade to internet 4G, please contact our sales teams. And uh, we offer a 4 inch LCD screen to our inverters in case some customer may be a little bit old, cannot use the smartphone, so we can also access to our inverter through the LCD screen. Uh, we have building export control, CT, or smart meters. For surface, uh, we need a smart meter, but uh, for all so far hybrid product, we offer free meter or CT. And we have built-in DC switch. And for so far production, first we have a real-time process MPPT ignore for maximum power generation. We have a very wide input range operation. Uh, independent dual MPPT can tracking flexible solar roof systems. High efficiency, passive design. High frequency insulated between battery, PV grid, advanced batteries. And we uh, management technology to protect the battery life. Uh, for our operation, it's very easy. Flexible side and a selection with IP65 and a 4 inch LCD screen, easy to read the LCD display. And easy monitoring using Solomon through the uh, web portal or apps. We have multiple working modes PV storage or in one unit, increasing efficiency of one side generation or decrease payback time. Stand alone mode, just the EPS, emergency power supply. Working under the off grid mode, just making sure you have power all the time. Intelligent grid management, power factor compatibility, limited AC output when grid frequency is too high or too small. Limited AC output when grid voltage is too high, and we also have built in zero export. When you make installation, you have to make sure first wearing the cable suits, checking local regulation before you make installation and get familiar with so far solar user menu and check connection before commission, making sure there is no losing connected. Connect system with side of the Wi-Fi so that we can help you check and help you control your inverter remotely. Enable and set the export limited. And if you want to know more details like uh, parameter or contact number from so far, you can visit our website. Don't not making sure all the installation cannot install directly under the sunshine. IP65, we can uh, work under the water or rainy, but if under the sunshine, we still have some trouble. Making sure your children or your dog or your cats reach the inverter and the battery. 
you have to make sure uh, using the battery or the inverter already compatible with sofa solar otherwise maybe you have some trouble for warranty and uh, obstruct the ventilation above around the inverter and the battery because as you know when the storage or on-grade inverter operation the temperature will be higher if the temp environment temperature is higher inverter may be need to take some measure to protection our system and uh, decrease the power generated uh, at this moment we using the app called uh, Solomon so this is a picture about the app go to the introduction tab on the plant related info selection tap the installer searching the business account and share your information to your installer or to your distributor so they can help you monitoring your system also because sometimes uh, and the customer don't not have enough time to check their solo system and when they have some maybe fault they cannot identify through the app so they can share their solar plant to the distributor or installer they will help the end customer working together to find out what's the main issues otherwise you can contact with sofa directly we will working together to help you after sales in case customer cannot provide a proof of change the warranty will start uh, three months after the manufacturing date if you have any problem you can contact with your installer first uh, if your installer cannot deal with your issues they have to contact sofa solar uh, you can contact us through the phone call email or online service system and uh, for our service uh, employee uh, employee from our service department maybe they need several details first the customer phone name address proof of the installation date uh, and the picture of the error message on the inverter of the screen and also the serial number based on those information you offer to us we can identify what is the main problem with your inverter if inverter cannot be fixed uh, so far we will offer the replacement unit to you if your inverter is still under the warranty uh, that's all the information that we have today so if you have some more problem uh, please let us know you can give us an email to service at sofasolar.com or you can find our number online and we also have online service system you can register account in our online service system and uh, you can uh, make application online we will solve your problem and contact you as soon as possible that's all the information today thank you very much